Hey guys, this is Micah from Epium, and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on Tilt Shift Photography. The Photoshop way. Yeah. Let's get started by duplicating the layer, and then we're going to enter a quick mask mode by hitting Q on our keyboard. Then we want to select the gradient tool. We're going to choose reflected gradient and drag out the content that we want to mask off. Then we're going to hit Q to unselect the quick mask and as you can see a marquee will appear on your screen. The area between the marquee is the area that is not going to be affected by blur. So we're going to hit filter, blur, lens blur and we're going to change the radius around to see how we like things. And a little bit too much. Go back down like that. So let's deselect the marquee and add a couple adjustment layers. We're going to do hue saturation. Bump up the saturation on the master a little bit. Gives it that feel of a model toy. And a little secret is bumping up the saturation of the greens and the blues. That helps to really make the scene look surreal. It's a secret. Shh. So let's go back and add some curves. Just some fine tune adjustments. Get the lighting a little bit better. And that looks good. And let's add some levels just to kind of help this out. And there you go, that's our completed image. And I want to show you guys something kind of cool. There's a photo that's floating around the internet that's used in the majority of tutorials and I'm just going to show you what we did with this photo so that you get an idea of the capabilities of Tilt Shift. So we have the original layer, the curves that we applied similar to our tutorial, and we added a high pass layer for a little bit more punch and your hue saturation. As you can see, Quite a bit different. And back to our original. And as you can see, it's also quite a bit different. And as always, we have included the history pane so that you can check your steps to make sure they coincide with ours. We hope this tutorial has helped you guys learn something new. Perhaps you can apply it to all sorts of different types of photography and maybe even video. Hint, hint. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.